Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Yoshi's Woolly World for the Nintendo Wii U, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I've been looking forward to uh, playing this for a good while, and I did have a Twitter poll a few days ago over the weekend as to what game they wanted to see me do after Hollow Knight. And by a slim margin, they picked Yoshi's Woolly World over Metroid Prime 2 Echoes by a single vote. Other notable mentions were Cuphead and Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. I just had to call it Sly 3 on Twitter because it ran out of room. Anyway, let's get started. So you can have Classic Mode and you can also have Mellow Mode. Mellow Mode allows you to play well, with, you, with wings. Makes it a little too easy. Let's just go with Classic Mode. And you can switch at any time, so... Obviously, I'm only going to be playing as just me. I'll keep the throw style on patient, control style at A. I'm playing this on a Wii U uh, gamepad, because for some reason I can't seem to find my pro controllers anymore, and I don't know why. I found that very strange, but here we are. Welcome to Craft Island, a tiny place in the middle of the handmade ocean. Life here for the Yoshi clan is nothing but peaceful and leisurely. Or rather, it had been nothing but peaceful and leisurely until Ellipsis. They're all made out of, like, wool. Oh, little Yoshis! Sorry to drop in so suddenly, but I need to turn you all into yarn. Thanks! One of them just goes, You're welcome! Oh my god, that Yoshi got dismembered into five pieces! It's like Braveheart or something! Yeah, at this rate, I'll be here through lunch! Come on, I'm busy! Everyone becomes yarn! You become yarn! You become yarn! Everybody becomes yarn! It's like, they're dead! Kill the Yoshis! But they're happy about it! There! This should be plenty! Well, I better get back! Toodles! Oh, they did their best. Kami's like, no, I'm not gonna take those Yoshis. Eek! That's quite enough. I've had it with you annoying Yoshis. It looks like he can't just keep them in the bag forever. Kamek is like, Alright, if you want to save the Yoshis, I'll give you a chance to do so. There's still hope. As Kamek flies away, he drops a handful of yarn. A rather important Yoshi meeting is held between only two people. What do we do to save the others? We need to get that yarn back. Hurry! After that naughty trickster! And so another grand Yoshi adventure begins. Will they be able to knit their friends back together? Onward, Yoshis! Fun fact, whatever Yoshi you play as is decided by like what save file you picked. Like because I picked save file number three, I got the blue Yoshi. And you press the A button to switch. Which is pretty cool. Another thing you gotta keep in mind is you can also use amiibos to decide, like, what Yoshi you can pick. And the more amiibos you have, the ones that are compatible with this game, which, of course, is none, they don't carry over to, like, other save files. So if you have, like, one save file with a lot of amiibos attached, 
it's not going to transfer over to the others. I can transfer some amiibos, but I'll do that in later episodes. So we can show off, like, different designs. But in the meantime, I think it's time we go to stage one. I might end up doing, like, maybe one stage per episode to keep them consistent. Depending on how fast they are. There is two-player co-op as well, but since it's just me, myself, and I, I'm riding solo. Oh, I'm getting a lot of notifications on Facebook. I'm ignoring those. Yarn Yoshi takes shape. 1-1. One -one. So if you don't want to use the uh, analog stick, you can always use the D-pad. There, like Yoshi's Island, there are a lot of collectibles in this. I'll try my best to collect as many as I can, but I'm gonna focus primarily on the yarn as well as flowers. Okay, so I just use the B button to like eat an enemy. You can press the X button to go into like egg aim or yarn aim. I called it like egg because it was like Yoshi's Island. As far as those, uh, beads go for, like, getting, um, like, stamp tokens, I think it is. There's 20, like, in each level, same as it is the red coins in Yoshi's Island. I'm probably not gonna care less about those, because if you get 20 in a level, what do you get? You just get, like, a new stamp you can use in Miiverse, and Miiverse got discontinued last year. So why would I even bother? Something you gotta keep in mind, though, is that there are plenty of secret passages. So be on the lookout for those. There we go. If you get five of each piece of yarn, or like the special yarn, you can create a new Yoshi. Yoshis are basically skins. Nothing more, nothing less. These heart tokens, I believe, just give you more health. If it runs out, you will die. But you just get to restart from a checkpoint. So there's no serious penalties for dying. Unless you really wanted to finish a stage with full hearts. But that really has no impact on anything. Just for score, really. And that's it. The things you really want to look for, get the flowers, get the yarn, and that's pretty much it. Like, those are the main things you should look for. Be on the lookout for anything you can hit with yarn balls, because it could create platforms for you. Platforms, of course, will allow you to make more progress. At least the flowers and the yarn balls are ordered in sequence on where you can get them in the stage. So if there's a gap in the middle, you'll know that, oh, I think I missed one. Oh, can I not go this way? Guess I have to do that through a red pipe. If you want to aim straight up, just hold up before you hit X. And that's how you can get that sorted. There's another flower. I might end up doing two stages in this episode. I don't know. These come in handy because, you know, if you run out of yarn, it'll be nice to uh, get some more. And you can, at most, you can carry six at a time. Hmm. I suppose there's a red pipe nearby. Am I supposed to use the one back there? Again, not that this matters, but since I got time... Maybe there is a hidden passage back down here? I don't think there is. Alright, well... The good thing about co-op is, in certain instances where platforming is difficult to do for getting collectibles, you would have your other ally there to back you up. 
So take advantage of that if you can. Huh, that would have been pretty cool if that hit. Oh, right, the steamers are over here. I'm an idiot. Oh, and it's a good thing I did go back here. Hmm, for some reason you can't go on that pipe. Oh, well. It's a good thing we did find it, then. Oh, that just leads to the same pipe you saw there. It's been a while since I played this game. In fact, you might have to go as far back on Munch Games Guides when I did this Let's Play with three other people in a collab. It was like two people in the crew playing and then the other two members play and it just went in sequence. Look at that flower, he's so happy. Assuming that's a he. Don't mind if I do. And there's another flower. This is the game's way of saying that, you know what, you should probably... Ow. You should probably... Ow. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. But really, you should be using your yarn balls in suspicious areas, and that will help you find things. Also be on the lookout for invisible balloons, too. Because some of them might actually yield important stuff. Okay, there we go. We got, like, all five yarn pieces. So when we finish a level, you will get a new Yoshi skin. Hold on, did I get all the hearts? No, I'm missing one. No, I mean all the flowers. Let me think back to where it was. Was it over here? Ah, flower right next to a flower. How convenient is that? And we finished the level. Because we went in through that ring, collecting a flower through the roulette, you get a bonus game. Bonus games are good for getting you, like, uh, more gems. You'll get a star for, like, each completion you get. But the important thing is the, the yarn to get new Yoshis. And the flowers, because if you get all the flowers in each level of a world, you will get a bonus level. Here, you just gotta collect as much of this fruit as you can. If you collect all the fruit, you get, like, another round and extended time. Which, of course, I failed. But that's okay. This was only just for beads, anyway. Beads are used to buy badges that you can equip for a level. And they give you certain perks. Such as the Power Badge. Some of these can range from like, uh, you're protected from pitfalls, fire does not kill you, etc, etc. So now, we have the Flower Yoshi. And you can go to the Yoshi Hut to see who's in there. Where you can find like, all the Yoshis that you saved. So, you know, we'll play as the Flower Yoshi for a little bit. And you know what? I actually will end the video right here. So I'll probably consistently keep it to like one stage per video so they're not too long. But in the next episode, we are going to go to 1-2, whatever that is. Something to do with trees and shy guys and bouncing. See everyone. Thanks for watching.